All right, hello everyone. This is Mr. Tarshinsky. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm putting this video together to go over how to graph systems of linear inequalities on uh, the TI graphing calculator. Uh, this is for the purpose of linear programming as well as just general graphing systems and finding vertices. Okay? So we're going to start actually with this system here. Um, this is from page 148 in the book. It's problem number 4a in the bottom left. Um, if you want to reference it, I've put it in calculator ready form. The given equations are numbered 1, 2, 3 at the top. Um, but I've just done a little bit of algebra to rearrange it, put it in calculator ready form. Okay, so if we go to our TI calculator here, obviously, um, as I mentioned in class, there's different versions of the software. Um, if yours looks different than this, the variance between the versions is pretty substantial. Um, so there are videos out there. Uh, other than this, that to deal with this, um, you're welcome to come to me for some extra help if this doesn't match yours. Um, I'm hoping this matches the vast majority, but uh, but if not, just just talk to me and we'll get you we'll get you tuned up on this. Okay. So if um, when you launch your calculator, it'll look like this. If you hit Y equals, go to the window where you normally um, put things into graph, and just enter the equation as you normally would. So for example, here we have negative three x minus 6. Okay. Now, of course, this would just graph as a line, so we need to tell the calculator that we're dealing with an inequality here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over until we're just to the left of the y1, where there's a little blinking box. If we hit enter, uh, we can select the line. So if you scroll down and select line, this will allow you to arrow through a number of different line types. So you have a, a solid thick line, or a thinner solid line, or a dotted line. The one we want, the greater than, is actually this right here. So this is the a little basically box, and you notice that the greater um, or the upper upper right hand corner has been highlighted. Okay, so this is this is the one that we want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK, and notice that the icon in the box has changed. If we move on, we graph our second uh, one half x minus eight. So again. 0.5x minus 8. This is also greater than, so we want the same same icon. Scroll over, enter, down to line. Oops, scroll in the wrong direction, of course. There's the greater than. This one here is the less than. So opposite sides of an imaginary rectangle there. Greater than is the one that we want. So we hit OK, Enter. Okay. Last but not least, the next one is going to be a less than, so I'll just go ahead and set that up before we type anything in. Okay, the less than is the lower half of the box shaded. And here we're just going to graph the boundary line. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. It's negative 7 over 11x plus 12 over 11. So we'll just handle this like so. Negative 7 over 11. Plus 12 over 11. And we already handled the less than, so you notice that here is different than the other two. Okay, so if we go ahead and hit graph, this is a little bit different than your graph by hand. You, it will handle the shading first. First one is in blue, second one is in red, last one is in some type of gray. Okay, so of course your, your feasible region is a triangle. Uh, it's where all the shadings overlap. Okay, this looks very similar uh, to the one on Desmos. Obviously it should look identical. Okay, so you take a look here. One, one vertex in the, uh, in the second quadrant, the other two in the fourth quadrant, which if we flip back to the calculator, that's what we have. One here, two there. Um, now, of course, we want to figure out how we calculate the vertices. So to do that on the calculator, you hit second and then trace. And so, of course, we're going to the function called calc, which is the second function. And then we're going to calculate the intersection, which is option number five. And then we get the little cursor on our graph, and we're going to scroll around until it is near the intersection. Okay, so I'll just sort of arbitrarily pick this one first. First curve 
click, second curve, let me go near there, and then last but not least, guess, we're going to try to get at least reasonably over top of the intersection, and then it will tell us that our intersection is at negative 3, 3, which if we flip back to Desmos, that is indeed where the intersection is. Okay? So we just repeat this process over and over again until we got all three. I'll do it one more time. Second calc, intersect option number five. Scroll, scroll, scroll. First. Second. Let me guess, try to get reasonably close. Okay, and there is that bottom one. Okay, so then the third one you do in the exact same way, and then you have all three vertices. Okay, so while this may seem a little bit tedious, it's it's way better than graphing by hand and uh, and potentially messing up the scaling or or having to deal with those types of issues. So um, practice this. You can use the calculator to uh, solve the problems that we worked on in class today. Maybe relook through those, regraph them with the calculator to get your confidence up. Um, and make sure you know what's going on with that. Uh, again, if you have a different software version, I can uh, I can help walk you through that. Um, and again, there's lots of lots of things available online, so you should be should be good to go. Um, so this has been graphing systems of linear inequalities for linear programming. So hope you enjoyed. And that's all for now. See you later.